Hey guys, I'm Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs, and in today's vlog, I'm going to answer the question, hey Brian, what's up with Windows 10? Windows 10 is, of course, the next iteration of the Microsoft operating system known as Windows, and you can get your copy of it for free until July 29th of 2016. So at the making of this video, that's gonna be coming up pretty soon. So if you haven't claimed your free upgrade, you're gonna to wanna to do it very soon, otherwise you are going to miss out and you won't be able to claim that free upgrade. I'm gonna talk about a few things that have to do with claiming that upgrade, some of the things you should do before you do that, and how this could potentially help your audio production workflow. First, about claiming that free upgrade. In order to get the free upgrade to Windows 10, you need to own a license to Windows 7 or Windows 8. You can't do this from XP, 95, or Vista, or other operating systems like Windows 2000 or server, things along those lines. You're not gonna be able to get a free upgrade to Windows 10. Sorry, you'll need to purchase Windows 10 if you really want it that bad. Now. If you want to get that free upgrade, you've probably already seen the box pop up on your computer asking you, hey, do you want this free upgrade? And if you do, go ahead and claim it. Many of you have probably been waiting to click that because you know that it's going to upgrade your system and you're just going to have to leap directly into Windows 10 by doing that. And that's a smart choice. You definitely want to do some things before you dive into doing that because claiming that upgrade is very easy. If you have that Windows 7 or 8 license, and you will have that license if you own a PC Audio Labs computer, then you simply need to claim that offer and your license will now give you a license for Windows 10. Now, just to be clear about something, you will keep your original license to Windows 7 or Windows 8. You're not going to lose those. Those license codes are still good. But as with anything else with licensing software, you must keep in mind the number of computers that you can use that license on. And with Windows, you can only use a license on one computer at a time. So you cannot look at this as being able to take a Windows 10 upgrade and let's say use that Windows 10 license on another computer or now use your Windows 7 license on another computer. You won't be able to do that. Just keep that in mind. This all has to do with the one computer that you're taking the free upgrade on. Before you take that free upgrade, you want to do a couple things to safeguard yourself and the first thing you're going to want to do this is of utmost importance guys is run a Windows image backup now you're probably going to say to me hey Brian I'm already backing my files up to an external hard drive that is great and that's very important whether you're using an external hard drive or a cloud enabled backup or maybe a raid with backup built in something along those lines that's really important it's always good to have your files in more than one location but a windows image backup is very different from simply backing your files up to an external hard drive and here's why if you're just backing your files up to an external hard drive and you were to take the free windows 10 upgrade and want to go back to windows 7 and you reinstall windows 7 or something along those lines you'd have to copy all your files back over. It's gonna be time consuming and it's probably going to be frustrating. A Windows image backup is going to allow you to roll back immediately to your previous version of Windows without having to go through a lot of headache that would normally be associated with going back to a previous version of Windows from having upgraded to a new one. And how is it done? Well, good news, there's a link in the description of this video where we're gonna show you how it is that you can do a quick and easy Windows image backup of your operating system drive that your computer is running on. And those instructions, by the way, will apply not only to PC Audio Labs Pro Audio computer users, but also to anyone else who owns a PC. So don't fret, you can use our quick instructions no matter what type of PC it is that you have. And real quickly, what is a Windows Image Backup? Well, a Windows Image Backup is a really simple and easy way to say that if I had my computer running perfectly, I really enjoyed the way it was running, and I took out a camera and I snapped a picture of it right at that moment and I saved that picture and then I took other pictures and stacked them on top of that one but said, you know what, this latest one is definitely no good. I wanna roll back to that first one. I can go back to that first picture, boom, be back up and running and have my operating system just as it was when I did that image backup. So this is an important thing to do before you take that Windows 10 upgrade, guys. Make sure to run a Windows image backup and save that image backup onto an external hard drive on a PC Audio Labs computer. It's going to be saved onto one of your secondary or third or other hard drives in your system, but we always suggest making other backups of that. Remember guys, doesn't hurt to have backups of backups. It will save you a lot of trouble down the road. Either way, make sure that you run a Windows image backup because this is really important so that if you do take the free upgrade to Windows 10 and you don't like it, you can go back very easily. There is also a way to roll 
back to your previous version of Windows by making use of a tool within Windows 10, which will allow you to roll back to your previous version of Windows within 30 days of having upgraded to Windows 10. So if you decide you don't like it, you can use that tool to go back. Now, everything we have seen is that if you do use that tool, typically it's going to work without issue, but we do really think that the better way to do this is to run a Windows image backup so that you can roll back really quickly to your original version of Windows without having to run into any potential headaches or other issues that you could maybe run into with other options. So then on to the big question, hey Brian, is Windows 10 really going to help my Pro Audio workflow? Well, the good news here is that PC Audio Labs has been working with Windows 10 since before Windows 10 was even released. In fact, we were approached by Microsoft to write a white paper on Windows 10 versus Windows 7 and Windows 8 for the purposes of Pro Audio. And you can find that blog and our findings on PCAudioLabs.com. You can also find a video presented by Pete Brown of Microsoft at Summer NAM 2015 in Nashville, Tennessee, which is where we're headquartered, by the way, presenting our findings to a crowd of folks we're really interested to find out what it was that we had to say about Windows 10 for Pro Audio production. So if you're interested, go ahead and check that out. Now, of course, it's been about a year since we wrote that white paper and many things have changed in Windows 10. With, as with all operating systems, things change. That operating system gets patched, new features are introduced, things get fixed, improved upon, and etc. At the making of this video, Windows 10 is definitely a super solid contender for a Pro Audio operating system. How does it compare with Windows 7 or Windows 8, which is probably what a lot of you guys out there are going to have? Well, what we have found is that Windows 10 definitely does outperform Windows 7 and Windows 8 on some basic efficiency with respect to CPU usage, RAM usage, operating system load time, app load time, things along those lines over Windows 7 and Windows 8. It's definitely faster than Windows 7 and it's a little bit faster than Windows 8. So there are some distinct improvements just on the base level. Will these help you with respect to Pro Audio? Well, we did find that there was decreased audio latency on the Windows Audio Engine uh, if you were going to use the Windows Audio Engine for audio production. Now, most of you are probably using ASIO or ASIO as I usually say it, audio drivers with an audio interface on your Windows PC. And if that's the case, you're going to be bypassing the internal Windows Audio Engine. But if you're using the internal Windows Audio Engine, which many audio applications allow you to do, you will find decreased latency by using that audio engine over if you were using that same audio engine in Windows 7 or Windows 8. So that was some very good news and some big kudos to the development team at Microsoft for being able to bring that latency down by quite a lot. The other reason that this is important is that Windows 10 is now starting to offer many more Windows Store audio applications uh, and those audio applications are audio applications such as virtual keyboards, recording software, things along those lines that are accessible to you through the Windows Store. Many of these are free or very low cost and a lot of them are going to make use of the Windows Audio Engine. So as a result, this is going to allow for the development of more audio applications on the Windows Store platform and on the Windows platform because decreased latency definitely makes the platform much more enticing to audio engineers because now they're getting the tools that they really Really need to be able to deliver a good experience with a piece of audio software. So that is actually a huge benefit to be found with Windows 10. Other improvements in Windows 10 do include better file search. You now have the option of being able to use Cortana, the Microsoft Virtual Assistant, which allows you to search using your voice. There's a number of new applications introduced with Windows 10, uh, the Photos app, music app, things along those lines. So there are some distinct improvements as well as the graphical user interface is definitely improved. A little more flat, a little more simplistic, but definitely very straightforward and easy to use. But does this all come together to give you something that is fitting for audio production? Now, yes, we have found that it definitely does. As I say, decreased latency on the Windows Audio Engine is definitely a bonus. Being able to load applications much faster, definitely a bonus. Overall application efficiency, definitely a bonus. We've seen a lot of things that are great improvements uh, to just overall usage of the operating system that will also start to work into your everyday audio workflow. As more and more audio applications become touch sensitive and multi-touch capable, Windows 10 is going to be the way that you're going to want to go for an operating system. And this is probably the biggest bottom line that you guys could take away from this video. 
overall. Windows 10, when it comes to touch compatibility and touch usage on large touch screens, maybe small touch screens, such as on laptops, things along those lines, and moving all the way down to tablets, phones, and etc. Windows 10 is going to always beat Windows 7 and Windows 8 for touch compatibility. Now, Windows 8 did introduce touch compatibility, of course, but Windows 10 takes it to a new level. And as we're seeing more and more applications, from audio developers that are touch capable, such as Persona Studio One and Cakewalk Sonar that do allow multi-touch on your screen while using that audio application, this is the biggest reason you would want to go to Windows 10 because eventually I do see that probably most all pro audio applications are going to be multi-touch compatible. It's just sort of the way that things are going to end up moving as time goes on. We've seen a lot of touch compatibility with respect to software coming from our friends at Personas who have been making touch interfaces for their audio hardware for quite some time now and that makes it a lot easier to use it if you're using it on a Windows 10 system versus Windows 7. Why is that? We could go into a lot of technicals about it but the simple fact is touch compatibility was not originally envisioned for Windows 7 and when Windows 8 came out it certainly was envisioned but not even in some ways as we're seeing it being implemented now in new pro audio software and other pieces of software. So if you are going to want to make that leap into the future and start making use of a lot of touch compatibility with your software, whether it be audio software or other software, Windows 10 is going to be the way that you want to go. So if that's enough for you guys to make the leap to Windows 10, if that is a reason that you might see that would say, yeah, okay, this makes a lot of sense, I'd say go ahead and take that upgrade. But just make sure that you back your system up before you do it, guys. That's the most important thing. Run a Windows image backup because if you do not enjoy Windows 10 or even worse, if you run into an issue with an audio application or another application and you need to get work done, it's really important to be able to leap backwards in time and get back to where you were before you took that free upgrade. So definitely make sure that you do that Windows image backup. Check out the link in the description of our video for the information that you need to be able to do that. And of course, if you have questions, you can call us at OBDM PC Audio Labs, where we are happy to help you with these type of questions. The last thing people generally ask me is, well, Brian, if I take the free Windows 10 upgrade and I own a PC Audio Labs Pro Audio computer, am I going to lose the tweaks that you guys do to your to Windows operating systems for Pro Audio production? And we do a number of tweaks to Windows for Pro Audio production. Make no mistake, there are a number of tweaks that we do. The answer is that in some cases, yes, you are going to lose those tweaks. And we've seen in some cases, most of those tweaks will carry over. We've seen others where they do not. Sometimes they don't, and we can't exactly tell you why, except that every system can be a little bit different from time to time. And especially if you have a legacy PC Audio Labs computer, we cannot verify that absolutely everything is going to carry over from Windows 7 or from Windows 8. And a legacy PC Audio Labs computer would be a computer that was produced about three to five or more years ago. So if you have a system like that, definitely make sure to take that Windows image backup before you make that leap to Windows 10 because you may end up needing that to roll backwards. Now the good news is, is that if you do need those tweaks done to your system and you they do not carry over, you can call Obedia and sign up as an Obedia customer and get hooked up with one of our pro audio technicians who can remote into your computer and offer you and give you those tweaks for Windows and do them in real time on your own system to tweak Windows 10 for pro audio production. And this is something that you would want to do no matter what, because Windows 10 does require some tweaking for pro audio versus Windows 7 and Windows 8. Because remember, there are new features introduced to Windows 10 that did not exist in Windows 7 and Windows 8. So that means either way, you would want to do a session with an Obedia technician in order to get some help and get those tweaks done to Windows 10 to give you the absolute maximum efficiency of your operating system. So you want to do this no matter what. So if you are interested in that, call up Obedia. We will offer you a special rate to sign up and join up with with us and in that time that you spend with a pro audio technician on your computer we will tweak windows 10 for pro audio and get you all set up to be able to get the best efficiency out of your computer this is going to apply to pc audio labs computers but there are some things that we can do to other computers out there but of course if you want the absolute best performance in a pro audio computer you're going to want to go for a pc audio labs pro audio computer so that's it guys just a quick overview about windows 10 why you could upgrade to it why you should upgrade to it why maybe you shouldn't upgrade to it and some things to keep in mind. As a quick 
overview of what it is that I just spoke about. If you're going to take that free upgrade, you need to do so by July 29th of 2016. You don't have to install that free upgrade by then, but you do need to take the special offer for the free upgrade. If you don't do it by then, you are not going to get the free upgrade to Windows 10. Before you make the leap to Windows 10, make sure to run a Windows image backup. You can find instructions on how to do that in the link in the description of our video. Windows 10 does offer a number of um, improvements to the Windows operating system that can be very useful for those of us who are doing creative things on our computers. And of course, finally, if you do take that free upgrade, you're going to want to call Obedia, sign up, get a special offer so that you can get some time with a pro audio technician and trainer just like myself. We will help you to tweak Windows 10 for the absolute best performance for pro audio. So make sure to give us a call or find us on our website so that you can sign up. And remember, you can do this whether you own a PC Audio Labs computer or not. And as always, guys, I am Brian with Obedia and PC Audio Labs. I want to thank you for tuning in. And I hope that you are having a lot of fun making music with your computers. Thank you so much for watching all of our videos here on our YouTube channel. Until next time, happy music making to you and take care. Today's pro audio hardware and software can give you excellent results if you know how to use it properly. Obedia can help you to get the most out of your pro audio hardware and software. Why spend your time scouring the internet for answers or digging through manuals? With one quick call to an Obedia technician, you'll be connected with someone who can give you the answers that you need in real time via phone and remote desktop. Obedia technicians are trained in all major digital audio applications on Mac, PC, iOS, and Android devices. Obedia member subscriptions are cost effective, give you great member benefits, and Obedia is here seven days a week to help you get the most out of your digital audio hardware and software. No matter what your level of expertise, Obedia can help you to stay focused and productive and get your music back on track. Start taming your technology today with Obedia.